Tennessee legislation banning the intentional release of chemicals into the air is headed to Governor Bill Lee's desk to be signed into law. Hmm. HB 2063 SB 2691, which House representatives gave final passage to on Monday, bans the intentional injection, release, or dispersion of chemicals within Tennessee with the express purpose of affecting temperature, weather, or intensity of sunlight is prohibited. Yeah, you heard that right. Tennessee has now banned chemtrails, and I don't care what you call them. Spraying anything behind a plane in the sky is a chemical trail. So please don't buy into the hype, into the lies, into the wordsmithing going on. It is chemicals in the air. Cloud seeding is spraying chemicals, chemtrails, in the air to affect the clouds to create more rain. They can also dry up your place in case you didn't know that. So Tennessee has now banned the practice of spraying chemicals in the sky to affect the weather. And many, many people still do not believe that this is true, okay? Cloud seeding has been going on for a long time. Here's a picture from a show that was on TV in the 50s, 1953, and it was called It Happens Every Thursday. And in this show, the newspaper was gonna seed the clouds and create rain. Okay, so this has been going on a long time, and just imagine, you know, the 30s and 40s or 40s all the way up to now, how much chemicals they've actually sprayed in the clouds in the name of cloud seeding. Right now, this cannot end well. It's not going to be good for our environment, spraying any kind of chemicals in our sky. Can we at least agree on that? Leave a comment down below if we can at least agree on that. So that's one of our conspiracy theories, uh, basically, that just took a big bite. Okay, out of reality, because now they're actually passing bills against it. Now, another thing that we want to talk about is the 5G, right? Because a lot of people are trying to warn you guys about this 5G and how it has absolutely nothing to do with your phone, but it's basically sending out pulses of EMF that is affecting your mood, your health, Everything about you because we are electrical beings. Please, please look into this information. I am telling you the truth, okay? But now, Stanford, you know, Stanford, that's one of those big Ivy League places over there on the East Coast. October 29th, 2023, Science, Policy, and Law of 5G, 4G, and Wireless The Health of and Environmental Impacts, okay? No one is talking about this and I might get banned on this video so please share it with your friends before it might get taken down because no one's actually talking about the 5G and what it's doing to our bodies. Science policy and law of 5G and wireless. Health and environmental impacts and a huge win for wireless safety in Connecticut. The Stanford board and representatives rejected a proposal that would have proliferated 5G and 4G small cell antennas into the neighborhood. An industry-friendly proposal was poised to allow wireless antennas in front of homes and schools. EHT experts, along with colleagues with an expertise in law, policy, and health, were invited to present the Board of Representatives Land Use Committee on October 18th. The expert panel shared critical information on the health and environmental impacts of wireless proliferation. Brr. <laughs> we also presented the need for federal accountability and proactive policy. That evening, after hours of deliberation, the committee voted against the proposal that would proliferate 5G and small cell antennas. Okay, guys? So we're just trying to bring you the news you can use. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm not trying to, you know, get clicks on my videos. All I'm trying to let you guys know is that spiritually... Then physically, we are under attack, right? Like seriously, okay? Like this is some crazy stuff I'm seeing with my own eyes. This is some crazy stuff, okay? Now, so now we got the 5G out of the way. Experts in the field are warning people, but no one's going to listen because of legacy media and the agenda, okay? That's all. They don't care about your health. Stop putting that in their hands. Please, 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 please. They love you to death. All right, now we're going to talk about, this is a good one too, because all the buzz lately is about this fake meat. 
right? We're gonna have chemical meat, cows are bad for the environment, you are gonna be happy to eat this chemical processed meat, okay? Well, Austria, France, and Italy have all banned lab-grown meat. What? I thought it was gonna be great and this was gonna be great. No, but what's gonna happen is America, you're gonna be the ones sucking on lab-grown meat while the rest of the world is eating beef cows, right? Think I'm lying? Here we go. Lab-grown meat does not constitute a sustainable alternative to primary farm-based production and raises ethical, economical, social, and public health questions that are essential for future society. <laughs> the note from the Council of Ministers that will be discussed at the next meeting of EU Agriculture Ministries on Tuesday, January 23rd. These practices represent a threat to our primary farm-based approaches to genuine food production methods that are clearly at the very heart of European farming models. Okay? While all this title is CAP's role of safeguarding high quality and primarily farm-based food production, its core target is cell-based food production practices. The note is off authored by Australian, French, and Italian delegations and supported by those from the Czech Republic, Cyprus, Greece, Hungary, Luxembourg, Lithuania, Malta, Romania, and Slovenia. Slovakia. Did you guys get it? We're going to be the only ones eating lab-grown meat unless you're in the state of Florida. <laughs> I mean, come on, you guys. Governor DeSantis signs legislation, that means it's a law, to keep lab meat out of Florida. Hardy County, Florida. Today, Governor Ron DeSantis signed HSB 1084 to prohibit the sale of lab-grown meat in the state of Florida. Florida's taking actions to stop the World Economic Forum's goal of forcing the world to eat lab-grown meat and insects. I'm just going to stop right there on this, okay? While the World Economic Forum is telling the world to forego meat consumption, who is the World Economic Forum? <laughs> Serious question, please educate your kids. Please call your representatives, you know, your elected representatives. Who cares what the WEF is saying? The World Economic Forum. What authority do they have to tell anybody to get rid of cows? Okay? They have zero authority, but what happens is they find allies like Nancy Pelosi, like Bush, okay? Like all the people I'm going to start talking about. <laughs> In the next video, I'm going to show you guys how they are adopting these programs without our consent at all. They don't even care what you think. Actually, they're going full steam ahead until they have some kind of a, you know, martial law, mass outbreak, especially with these students and all the stuff going on, eventually people are going to have enough and that's what they're banking on because as soon as we break into standing up for ourselves, they're going to come down with that heavy-handed fist, boy, and they're going to try to squash it, okay? So this is what America is all about, right? This is, we are going to put America to the test in the next 12 months, I promise you this, okay? And where it comes on the other side is anybody's guess because it's, it's just a little wild out there. Now, I just gave you three of the conspiracy theories, right? Chemtrails in the skies, spraying chemicals in the skies. I don't care what you call it. They're doing it, and we're trying to ban it. And who's doing it? Who's in charge of that? Who sends planes out full of that stuff? Who greenlights that stuff? Who gives the NGO, non-government organizations, money to uh, supply their planes with that stuff and the chemicals that they're spraying? Who does that? That's what we need to know. And we also talked about 5G because it's not hurting you. There's nothing wrong with 5G. It's a huge problem. It's a huge problem. I've talked about it before on the, on the show. Okay, They are charging the atmosphere with electromagnetic frequencies that are messing with your body every day, every day, keeping you in a bad state, okay? Those are facts. And then the other thing was the lab-grown meat, right? They want you to eat Z-bugs and uh, enjoy the lab-grown meat, and that's why they're coming after the cows. I just did a video about the cows. 
They're trying to say they got the bird flu. They're going to start mass killing cows. They've already started. And now they want the ear tag so they can track every cow. All this stuff is about control and population control and, you know, getting rid of borders okay getting rid of your constitution if you're in america it's going to be global citizen time one world new order i mean i don't know if you guys can see it or not but i just wanted to bring this video to you guys so you could have it on your radar that all the stuff that most people probably that you're watching on social media and and they're trying to warn you good people actually just trying to help okay here are some facts for you to sink your teeth in none of this stuff that we're talking about is made up we're not trying to just scare people. What we are trying to do is warn you, all right? Share this video with your friends so they can see they're passing laws like they, this is serious and we're trying to get ahead of it. But we have to be proactive like Ron DeSantis. Props to Ron DeSantis for banning the sale of fake meat in Florida. That's called getting ahead of it. That's being proactive. Not letting them dump all that into your food supply, causing people to get sick, not knowing the repercussions of it, and then maybe trying to pass a law. Right. All right, guys. Whew. See you guys on the next video. Christians are under attack, too. I don't know if you guys are watching this stuff. If you want me to talk about what just happened with the Christians and the Bible, I will do it. But I don't like to talk about religion on the channel or politics really but lately i've had to because they are putting the noose around our neck and we're helping them and so i just want to know do you guys want to know do you want to know what happened because man is it in your face leave a comment down below see you guys on the next one